My name is Bill Wood, and I am the features reporter on WGNO. Good morning, New Orleans. You yourself, you have a really good name that sticks. Wow, Bill. Like, how did you get that? That name, my job before this was in Florida, and I was the morning features reporter uh, at a Fox TV station in South Florida. So the my boss came up with the idea of uh, Wild Bill's Florida Roadshow. And, and sometimes they still call me Wild Bill. I mean, I think it's okay. I don't particularly like it, but I like that it sticks with people. Can you describe your regular day as a reporter? I can. I get up really early, about four o'clock, and I have coffee, and then I'm at the studio by 5.30. I go on the air at 6.30, and I introduce the story that we've usually shot and edited the day before. So then when I'm done, what Justin and I do, Justin is my photographer, producer, editor, We'll meet and go out on a story like the one where we are today at Chalmette High. We'll put that together and then that runs the next day. And I think about the questions that I ask people. And because of time and editing, <clears throat> even though I talk to them and I get a lot of information and I write a rough draft of the script before we shoot, I'll change it because there'll be like two or three things that impress me. Writing is a big part of my job, and I think writing is a big part of everything that we do. You know, whenever you see people accept awards, they're like, oh, the writers are so good and all that. It's all about the writing. And in the writing, <clears throat> to me, the writing is not just about the words, but it's the whole producing of it. It's everything from the, when you start thinking about what you're gonna do, when you start thinking about how you're gonna start your day. What are we gonna shoot? How are we gonna set this up? What am I gonna wear? What socks? I mean, you're kind of writing the script even before you put down the first word. It's like when I'm telling him I want shots in the hall without the students. And if you, because my opening line is if you wander the halls of Chalmette High, you know, there's one guy who never wanted to leave. He's the principal and he's been here almost half a century. We have, especially when we, we think something might be an award-winning story, an Emmy award-winning story, we have what we call the oh my God factor. Does that make you go, oh my God, when you hear that so-and-so did this, when you hear that, you know, school bus traveled down the street, mm. if you hear the, school, the bus broke down, the bus driver pushed it so that the kids could get to the basketball game on time and they won the state championship. That's kind of an oh my God. I mean, it's just, it's, it's like a movie. Everything that we do has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Sometimes the ends are happy, ending is happy, sometimes it's not. What made you realize that you were a story, storyteller? Hmm, I, I don't know that I ever did. I mean, I, growing up uh, on my grandmother's front porch, we would sit around in the swing on Sunday nights and tell stories. So I think that, I mean, storytelling goes back to when people lived in caves. So storytelling is really everything. I mean, it doesn't have to be a big production. It's just storytelling can just be you telling me, say, hey, did you know what happened? It's kind of like, hey, listen to this. People want to go out and be in the line of work that you're in. What would you give it advice for somebody like me yeah. that would like to go out and do your job? I think you're already doing it. I mean, if you have a class like this, when I went to school, I went to such a small school in my little hometown in South Carolina, and we barely had books. But you have a full-fledged TV studio here. You've got a whole TV station here, so you've got all the tools that it takes. But the tools are nothing without you, without what's in your head and what's in your heart. So just go for what you want. And, and the, I love the expression, be yourself, everybody else has already taken. So, you know, just be yourself. That's, you know, you can't try to be what somebody else wants you to be. You just have to be yourself. And if somebody wants that, somebody will want that and they'll want you.